10 Important Ways to Control Your Weight Obesity is rapidly becoming one of the U.S.'s leading causes of preventable death, soon to beat out smoking-related illness. With our fast food culture and our rush-rush habits, we easily flock to the wrong foods, bad eating schedules, and develop the wrong habits of overeating and taking in low-nutrient, low-quality foods. In order to overcome and avoid the trap of obesity, some helpful tips may facilitate your goals. Number one, try to keep your refrigerator stocked with a wide variety of high-quality, high-nutrient foods balanced from all the food groups. Lots of fresh vegetables, fruits, whole grains, low-fat dairy products, lean meats, and high-quality fish. Number two, when you eat, try to prepare meals for yourself that include a balance of the food groups. If you eat to your satisfaction of a healthy meal, you will be less likely to crave stuff you shouldn't eat like fatty, sugary foods. Number three, if you snack, try as often as possible to reach for the healthier things like fresh vegetables, a bowl of high fiber, low sugar cereal with low fat milk, and leftovers like bean soups, etc. If you snack, fill up on healthy food at mealtime. Then if you snack, just have a small serving. Number four, learn how to make soups. Use beans or cook bean-based soups as often as possible. Beans are high in fiber and serve as a good substitute for meat. Although meat need not be eliminated from the diet completely due to its excellent source of iron that is more readily absorbed than non-meat forms of iron. Many beans tend to be a high source of iron and also other essential vitamins and minerals. Number five, if you tend to be an overeater, try to find other ways to occupy your time. Substitute things you love to do or want to do and use the extra time towards that. You will notice that you have you will have forgotten you were hungry and will not have eaten the excess calories. Number six, don't undereat, especially if you are an active person. Resting metabolism for the average person requires at least 1,200 calories or so a day. This varies between male and female, body type, and active lifestyle levels. If you are active, you should get at least equal amounts of calories to the amount you burn. If you tend to burn a lot, eat more, but keep it healthy. If you want to lose weight, you can cut a few calories from the amount above the minimum 1200. If you want to gain weight, you should try to add a few extra calories to your diet depending on how much weight you want to gain, but keep it healthy. Number 7. Try to utilize multivitamins but don't go overboard. A one a day is sufficient, unless prescribed by a doctor. Mega doses above 10,000 times the daily requirement, including the herbal supplements, can be toxic. If you feel you may have a deficiency, be sure to consult a physician and get the proper diagnosis or advice on your deficiency. Also, many megadoses do not get consumed or absorbed and can be a waste of money. Also, if lifting weights, using protein supplements can be unhealthy and may cause dehydration as well as toxic protein levels or even be converted to fat. Also, understand that most healthy diets supply all the nutrients needed for a healthy body and excess supplements are not usually needed. Number 8. Allow yourself a snack once in a while, but just don't overdo it. The average 2,000 calorie diet allows for nearly a couple hundred or so discretionary calories in the daily diet. This could be a soft drink, a light snack or dessert, or even an alcoholic beverage. Be careful and choose wisely. These are empty calories and can easily add extra pounds or affect the normal levels of health. However, with planning, they can be a nice treat. Number 9. Be careful not to overdo salts, fats or oils, especially saturated or hydrogenated, sugars or alcohol. These things are often left without discretion. They, the recommended alcohol intake for females is one drink per day, for males two per day. Salt can be a silent killer as it is easily able to lead to high blood pressure if not monitored and kept below the average daily amount. Sugary foods can lead to diabetes if overindulged in bad fats like those found in fast foods or processed foods or snacks or even some foods such as oily breads, pastries, whole milk, high fat dairy, and even excess meat or unlean meats, etc. are sources that should be avoided as much as possible. Number 10. Try to get as much exercise as you can. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in America. A healthy diet along with the regular exercise can thwart it as well as majority of the other leading causes of death. Enjoy exercise. It is a great stress reliever and brings great results in weight control when done regularly. The average recommended is at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise per day, 5 times per week, or a total of 150 minutes per week.
and this includes activities like gardening or even bowling and cleaning as long as they increase the heart rate moderately. Number 11. Lastly, be sure to stay hydrated. The body, body actually does absorb water from foods and many foods tend to actually have a lot of water in them and the body will use this water to stay hydrated. Don't get your necessary amount per day and drink water daily, regularly as well. Avoid bottled waters as they tend to be overly acidic as compared to tap water and a high quality filtered water system. All these things will help you control your weight very well or even lose weight if you desire. If you do, you will see the difference in your life and body. These tips are things that work for me. I've read a few good books over time about healthy eating and living. The website Choose My Plate also gives some excellent tools to help control your diet and weight. If you found this article helpful and would like more information on how to control your weight, check out our journal, Good Health to You.